In today's video, we take a look at the Arcteryx Granville 20 liter backpack, an incredibly hard wearing and durable backpack, but with a clean and refined urban aesthetic, perfect for daily commuting. I'm Ed from Rush Fast, and we do guides and walkthroughs, bringing you better gear and better ways to carry. So if any of that sounds good to you, you like what you see and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and also hitting the bell. Let's dive right in and check out the Arcteryx Granville 20 liter backpack. Arcteryx is a company that started off in Canada and they're really well known for making some of the world's best outerwear and apparel and they've innovated some really impressive materials technology as well. We've actually done a video on the Arcteryx Granville 16 litre zip backpack so if you're interested in checking that out click the link above right now and also let us know in the comments if you'd like to see us cover more Arcteryx gear. If you want to check the product page of this bag however, the Arcteryx Granville 20, then click the link in the description below or scan the QR code on the screen right now with your phone camera. Also in the description below is a link to subscribe to our Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter where we talk about news in the carry world and where we also give away some carry gear to our lucky subscribers every month. If you want to enter your chance to win, be subscribed to the channel as well as the newsletter. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about the unique materials behind this bag. This bag features Arcteryx's trademark AC squared which is Arcteryx's advanced composite construction technology. It's basically the culmination of all of Arcteryx's applied knowledge in materials development. So this AC squared features a tough, airtight, waterproof and lightweight laminated 420 denier fabric. The fabric has a TPU coating on the underside of the fabric and then it has a kiss coat urethane coating on the front for abrasion resistance and weather resistance. With Arcteryx, they're really serious about all their materials technology, so if you actually want to check out more details on that, there is a link in the description below. In terms of branding, it's not too bashful. There is this one big Arcteryx logo on the side of this flap top here. This logo is the Archaeopteryx, which is what Arcteryx is short for, and it represents the first bird to ever take flight. So that speaks a little bit about Arcteryx as a brand as well, them wanting to continually evolve and develop and go beyond the norm. There is also a little embossed Arcteryx logo just on this little clip here. We'll take a look at this clip and the opening a little bit later, but turning to the back of the bag, we have some pretty standard shoulder straps here, but they are reasonably padded and they also curve and contour and then taper at the end here so it fits ergonomically on the body. The padding of this shoulder strap is actually quite plush, it's nice and dense. And you can see from the underside to the front there is this overlapping of the padding there. And so that creates a nice edgeless shoulder strap there so it won't dig into your shoulder if you're carrying a heavy load. Over here we also have a pretty standard sternum strap. This is an ITW buckle. The sternum strap is adjustable here. You can see these different points of adjustment so that you can properly align the sternum strap to where your sternum is on your body. I have a slightly taller torso and I usually carry the body quite tight around my shoulders so I've adjusted the sternum strap to closer to the bottom here. The great benefit of this particular sternum strap is that you can adjust it along these adjustment points but you can also adjust the orientation. So right now it's calibrated to be adjusted and drawn from the left hand but if you want to switch it up you can simply just take it off, switch it around and then you can draw on the right hand. Alternatively, if you don't want to use a sternum strap, you can actually just take this off and stow it away. And at the bottom here we have very simple plastic ladder locks. This back panel here is fairly basic. It's got that same really plush padding on the shoulder straps here. But as you can see, there's no air channeling or air mesh to help with breathability, anything like that. So it's a fairly basic back panel. And at the top here, we have a simple nylon haul handle for picking the bag up and off the ground and also hanging it off any hooks. Taking a look at the compartments of the backpack, we have two compartments, one quick access one at the front and then the main compartment. Securing down the flap top of the main compartment is a custom Arcteryx one-handed release buckle. So to release it, you simply just pinch it together and that releases the little clip. Here you can see the male and female ends here where they connect. And despite being such a simple system, it's a really secure system. And so when you're packing light, you can actually cinch it down, compress the gear, and then you've got a little bit of elastic webbing here if you want to just roll that up and then tidy it up inside that little elastic webbing. But as we unclasp the clip, you can see there is another zippered compartment that secures down that flap top. So taking a look at this first compartment, the quick access compartment, we can see this really unique zipper line here. There's this nice shiny polyurethane coating on there. 
This is Arcteryx's watertight zipper. It was first developed in 1999 and is still being used today. It's a really hard wearing and strong zipper. And obviously it's also a really water resistant zipper. So it's actually laminated onto the bag via seam tape. And a big thing about AC Squared is that they use seam tape across the entire bag. That's what makes it lightweight and also incredibly water resistant and hydrophobic. Now make no mistake, it is not a waterproof bag. It is really water resistant, but you can't submerge it in water and expect it not to get inside the main compartment. So it's really important to make that differentiation there. But when it comes to water resistant backpacks, Arcteryx makes some of the best of those. So opening up the watertight zipper, we have this small compartment and you can see there already, there's this little key leash for you to attach your keys to. So I've just attached my orbit key to that. Really good way to just secure your keys and make sure they don't get lost. Inside here, I've also got an Oz Air face mask, my wallet, my Bellroy note sleeve wallet, Bluetooth headphones, and hand sanitizer. Now, although it is a small quick access compartment, it's actually pretty big. It goes to around this dimension of the bag. So there's plenty of space to put snacks, maybe even a hat, other small bits and pieces, things like that. So getting into the main compartment, again, we have a zipper line here and we have another zipper part there. And so inside here, we have a big empty space plus a little small compartment for small bits and then the laptop compartment. So hopefully you can see all the gear inside. I've just made the bag upright. A really small and useful feature of the bag here is this little grab handle. And so when I want to see inside the bag, I can simply pull this up and I can really see what's inside. So just grabbing a few bits and pieces out. This is a Western Rise Airloft shirt jacket. I have my Evergoods Civic Access pouch for my tech. And then I've also got my Maxpedition first aid kit. At the bottom there, I've also got just a Hydroplac Flux water bottle. It's one liter. So hopefully you can see inside this big empty space. And if you can see this little white seam tape here, this is what makes the bag so lightweight and so water resistant. But on the opposite end here, we have a little zipper path, little mesh compartment to store small bits and pieces. So I've got a Nomad Kevlar charging cable. I've also got a portable battery bank. And you could put a number of different things in here. You could store pens and pencils, personal care items. If you didn't have a tech pouch, you could put your laptop charger inside here as well. But just behind that mesh compartment, we have the laptop sleeve. So this is my 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina. You can see plenty of space here on the side. This will fit up to a 16 inch MacBook. And you'll be pleased to know that this laptop sleeve is suspended from the base of the bag. So when you set the bag down a bit too heavily or if you drop the bag on its base, the laptop will be protected. So we just went through that mesh compartment and then the laptop compartment, but just behind that is another slip pocket here. This is good for putting any workbooks, maybe an A4 notepad, really slim folder, things like that. But you can see there's also a little zipper line here. This zipper line gives us access to the frame sheet. So if you ever want to adjust the frame sheet or take it out entirely, you can do that by just opening up this little zipper line. So we've taken a look at all the features, all the materials of the bag. Now we're going to conduct our rush faster beer capacity test to see how much you can fit inside this bag. Now, even though it is a 20 litre backpack, I've got high hopes that it will fit all four six packs. Okay, so that's them all in there. Let's see if we can zip it up. Oh, too easy. So four tinny six packs can fit in this bag. You can lug it around like a courier. Actually a big part of the bag's beautiful aesthetic is that it has that courier type messenger bag style inspired in this little flap top. Okay, Arcteryx Granville 20 liter backpack on the body. For your reference, I'm 5'10". Well everyone, that is the Arcteryx Granville 20 liter backpack. It is a really impressive backpack. The materials itself is really impressive. It's a hard wearing bag. It's perfect for the urban environment. It's got a clean and refined silhouette and it's got this really beautiful flat top on the front as well. If you're interested in getting this bag, there is an affiliate link in the description below as well as a QR code on the screen right now that you can scan with your phone camera. If you like this bag, you found it helpful, using any of those affiliate links really do help support the work of the channel. And if you wanna to continue to support us further, 
Let us know your thoughts about this bag in the comments below. Let us know if you want to see more Arcteryx gear and leave a like, hit the bell and be sure to subscribe to see more carry gear walkthroughs and also subscribe to the Rush Faster Carry Roundup newsletter. If you want to see more product walkthroughs like this then check out some of the links on the screen at the end of this video. But for now this has been the Arcteryx Granville 20 litre backpack. Take care and we'll see you next time.